Hey everyone, welcome back. I am doing now part 5 of Resident Evil 3. Uh, to recap on the last thing that I think I left off was I had finished playing with Carlos, I think. And um, did the whole mission of going inside the police station and all that. And now I'm back as Jill after the subway had, you know, blown up and stuff. Or after the tyrant... Uh, blew up the, the base no, no 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 hold on sorry the guy blew himself up to try to kill the tyrant with a c4 but i mean that pretty much pretty sure that didn't work so anyways let's um just you know jump to it and get started i the only one who made it no no sorry Okay, got everything going. Heartbeat monitor on. Recording. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, due to my terrible memory, I do not recall exactly what I'm supposed to do now or where I left off. Guess we'll figure it out, right? Oh, already a safe. <laughs> close the door. All right. Well, I would close it. Carlos, come in. Carlos. Nice. Oh, damn it! I guess I'm out of range. Read this first. UBCS new weaponry notice. Good news, Limpdicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's Military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed to standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they st they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. Cool. So, first aid spray, mine rounds. Gotta be careful with those. I don't use a mutt all for something dumb. Oh look, more. Nice. And we got it cleared. Okay. So do I need to put anything away? Hmm. So I got three explosive rounds. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lock pick I still need, pretty sure. Shotgun shells, pistol. I need more space, that's the thing. Um You know what? Let's just put these away for now. I might need these. Alright, let's go. It's enough space, but I mean, guess we'll see. Let's ban Moose. Oh, nice. A little better looking light. Getting the buttons and stuff. Nothing. Oh, nice. Bunch of sound. Ah! Right, bastards. Okay. Get this. 
punk ass over here. No. Poke you in the ass. Ah. Oh. That didn't wake you up, nothing will. Gotta be very careful with the ammo. That's something I wanna just keep using up. Got him. Okay, just have to keep going. They were kind of quiet now that I'm thinking about it. They didn't really make much noise. Yeah! God damn it, dude. Seriously, I can keep using my shotgun shells. Thought I heard something. And the tyrant, bam, grabs me again. Cause that's how they fucking do it. That fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. Jesus fuck, it's gonna chase me again? Oh, yeah. Alright, 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 escape the creature. Nice. And I can't kill him. And there's nothing for me to take. Alright. So, I brought the first aid spray. Good, good, good. Shit, there's so much red. Okay, still more stuff. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in a developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its elect electrification over the course of the early 20th century. And the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled up to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this one, once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in the league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area. This time with proper preservation efforts in place, the clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of it, its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. And it seemed like it was unnecessary to read that. God, just waiting for the tire to pop up. Already has me nervous. Alright, where is he? I do not like these games, man. Just hiding in the bush or something. <laughs> I can see that. Jump on me because I feel like exactly that's what's gonna happen. Okay, no, nothing. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to jump in when I get that freaking box. Oh, look, another one. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Kind of clear. 
is coming up very, very soon. I got everything already. I'm just gonna run and activate him. Figure out what's gonna happen. Give it a jump scare, because it's saving. I see that. He blow himself up. Oh, no, wait, this is a C4 thing, right? Carlos, respond. I feel like he could. Yeah, what's up? To be honest. We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Ah, oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Yeesh. Get back! Chill. God Chill, what damn. happened? Chill, come in! Tall ass. Hey. Tall more ass. Oh, jump. I have nothing to do with it. Oh, there we go. Ah! Yeesh. Jump. Beat the creature. Oh. Should have brought my goddamn bombs. God damn it. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay. I got the grenade launcher. That's right, bitch. Back up. Oh! Back up. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Landmines, landmines. Oh, fuck me. I didn't kill him. God damn it. No, oh, fuck. <laughs> Bye, oh. Come on, bitch, die. Stay down. Nope. Shit. Where we going, where we going, where we going? Ow, what the fuck? Ass out of fucking bombs. Ah! The fuck? Why is it zoomed in? Oh. It's just one by one. Ah! One more hit. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I have no fucking shells in it. Ooh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Holy shit. What the fuck is wrong? 
the fuck? What am I supposed to do? No. Go, go. That's not what I needed. Oh, fuck me. Oh no. Oh fuck! Heal up, heal up, heal up! Shit. God, fucking look at not bringing in those bombs. Damn it! God damn it. Ah, fuck it. I'll save it just in case. I've gotta find a way to stop it. How you think? Keep doing that, dude. Come on. Flame rounds. Yes. Oh, for God, I kept it. Oh, fuck! Ah! right now. Ah. Where the fuck did he go? Oh fuck! So I still got two more. I miss. God, fuck, I missed. Shit. Oh my god. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. No way. Yeah, I'm just gonna be running a circle like this, dude. There he is. You're about to take a nasty fall. Oh, fuck. Shit. 
that running thing again. Eesh. And there he goes. Stop looking for the ammo. Got more shit over here. Mine rounds, mine rounds, thank you. Where are they exactly? Shell, screen herb. God damn. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. Got this shit. Still got one more, right? I missed it. Oh, she's gonna come stomping down. Oh! Stay hugging this over here. Oh fuck, 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 fuck! God, I fucking knew it. Doing that weird shit again. I'm gonna kill you. Bitch, stay down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Yeesh. God damn it. Fuck. Hey. Where are these shotgun shells at? Behind me. Right? Yes. Oh my god! The fuck? Where's the son of a bitch at? Oh! What the fuck? Circle thing. Is it doing it? I should have reloaded right away. God, I hope that's it. Right, let's do this. Suck it! Ah. to life again. Wouldn't be surprised. Let's go pick up that little plant. Not really helpful at the moment, but that's all that's left. Well, okay, where do I go now? Where do I go? That's where I came from.
I have to literally pass it. <laughs> like, this is like where you grab me. Something like that, right? Yeah. Of course. This guy. Interest. You've done me a big favor. Miss. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, Super Cop. I got you. you the vaccine. Typewriter and a box. Nice. Put the green herb. Store this away. I'm gonna keep these just in case. I feel like we're gonna run into some liquors. Put save. Alright. Let's go find that doctor. Yeah, we got everything good. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. So we got something around here. Oh, first aid spray. Ammo. Deposit the one of the first aids. There we go. Sorry, I had to pick up my dog. And yeah, I'm gonna go through here. 
zombie galore, I bet you. And again, because I feel like there's going to be liquors, I'm going to try to walk slowly. As anything else feels kind of dumb. to come back so I have to kill him. What the fuck was that? More? I'm trying to see if that door's gonna open or not. Stay down. Yeah. Yeah, you just sit down. You gotta make sure. for them. Anything I can use here? Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Spencer Memorial Hospital is meticulously designed by Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing is spacious inpatient wing. We boast one of the country's largest research wings where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. It's probably gonna be for Jill. I don't got time for this. Ah, god damn it. Fucking knew what the closer I got was gonna happen. You right there? Sure, some of you guys would think about like just running past them and stuff, but the thing is, I, I think I'm gonna have to come back here. Okay, so there's two ways to go. Shit. Music, eerie. Can I put on the hat? No. And of course, another thing for Jill. Simple lock. Yeesh. Slowly we go. Slow and steady wins the race. I swear to god if that motherfucker gets up. Eef. The fuck is that noise? Go. 
Oh, why is it rumbling? Uh, okay, is there no way for me to get in there? There's gotta be a way in there, right? Has to be. I seem like breaking a window, but maybe it looks like we're not to hop out of there. What was that? Oh, my eyes feel dry. Okay. See where we're at. Early recording. We're so good. Yep. No. Okay. I thought I was able to open it. There's something else lying around. Office of Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please take it. Examine it. Oh, I guess not yet. Yes, clearly. Okay. I just sworn I saw something. Yep. Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients, the sedatives, and stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary team. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why, where, and what is going on? Great. I feel like they're going to be behind a door, and they're going to like swarm me or something. I need to be safe. Wait, what the hell was that? <laughs> God damn it, those damn thumps. Oh. Where the fuck that come from? Okay, I guess from this door. I fucking knew it. I like how they just stay in place. Get up. What? How you? Come on. I don't know. 
I thought it would have cracked the glass. But let me guess, the second I pass through... Yeah, you thought you were going to trick me. Sorry. Break the glass, come on. No? No. Yeah. Thought he would've. No, oh, what the fuck? Where the fuck does this come from? What the fuck is wrong with you? Damn, bitch, she jumped on me. Just to make sure. These motherfuckers can be laying down and jump on you just out of nowhere. Oh, I thought someone was going to be on the bed. God, those finger puppets look creepy. Can't eat any of the food. So... Does not look like they go in there. that door takes me outside closed door I came from yes I keep going straight Jesus fuck I wasn't even looking at it it fucking scared me
I shot you, so that means you shouldn't be jumping on me. What the fuck happened? Where I dropped him. Very careful. See, I feel like there's a liquor around here. Or a few of them at least. glass. Yeah, so obvious it's a liquor. Hmm. All righty yo. Let's head in. Careful, because I am running a bit low on ammo. exact ones I wanted but it is something slowly it's just I feel liquor's about to crawl by or something glass. Oh, wasn't trying to hop down yet. Shit. Awesome. Check everything here first. Key. How do I get to that box? to hop down from over there, I guess. Over there. God damn, I have to go up again. Slowly. Sweet. More ammo. Oh, this is a door I couldn't open. Right? Yeah. And I have to go do that all over again. Right? 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the steps over here. The door was creaking or something. I swear to God, if you get up, dude. Oh no. It's saved. What's gonna happen? Yeah, let's uh, do that. How about that? Some flashbangs, thank God. Don't like that I had to save now. Go through the roof. the right window. Eee. the window. I think I did. Shit. God damn, I have to circle around. So that I hopped out at first. stuff. God damn it. I can't fucking tell. see that one either. Alright, well, gotta try it out, right? Can't figure it out yet, so gotta just do it. Hopefully it's right. Not 
fucking annoying. So it's gonna be over here in this corner. Still not gonna run. I'm just waiting for something to happen. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Ah, the freaking music. liquor and you know, you're coming looks like I gotta go all the way around okay not this way. Okay. So how the hell do I get to that side? Is there a door or something? Oh, there's a map. Got it. This makes it a lot easier. How do I get over there? Or it might be just for Jill, actually. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what it is. Oh, go to the records room first. a lot to clear out. Shit. Let's clear this room out first. Fuck. Yeah, see? Liquor. What'd I say? for his little clickety clacks. Still nothing. I know it's gonna pop out soon. Okay. 
I shot them and they didn't move, so that means they shouldn't jump. Those are the rules. That glitched out a bit. I thought that was like a grenade. They're gonna be here for Jill. That's what's gonna happen. Nurses Journal, September 29th. We tried, I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst and imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking the rescue team was on the way. Mm -hmm. But then the sound grew distant and all we're left now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Right, the liquor. Memos from administration, ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances as far as security measures. All employees must store their ID cards in their personal lockers before returning home for the day. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered. Oh, I already picked it up, huh? We'll keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Right, did I pick it up? Let's see what we got here. Uh, standard lock. Oh, door. Yeah. back into the records room. Hmm. Alright. Let me see if I put it away or something. Oh no, it's a different thing. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it right here. I have to start getting actually ready for work, so this is all I can do for now. Um, you know, if you watched and you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, I really appreciate it. I'll have these, I'll have this and the other video I just did as well uploaded as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.